My beautiful friends, we have arrived. It is Fed Day. It's freaking Fed Day, the freak show of freak shows. Um, let's talk about what's going on here in the markets before I <laughs> go off. So um, right now, stocks are under pressure. Uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average down triple digits. Look, it's pretty simple to understand that regardless of what most people believe, it is the markets that dictate to the Fed. It's not the opposite way. However, this is what's going to happen later. Well, let's outline that too. Uh, a big, fat, ugly zero. Uh, that means the Fed is going to maintain the status quo. Uh, there are some that believe we're going to get a hike today. There are some that believe we're going to get a cut today. I'm here to tell you we're going to get a big, fat, ugly zero, uh, meaning they're going to do nothing. Um, and what's really going to matter here is what comes out of its mouth later on today. And this is what's going to happen beyond any shadow of a doubt. We already understand this. And if I'm wrong, I will not believe it. The Federal Reserve needs to maintain the illusion that they are in some kind of control over what's going on here. All they can do, and all they do do, is issue debt. That's it. It's their only product. They don't have any tricks up their sleeve. They don't have a toolbox. I mean, you listen to people like Steve Leisman, the Fed toolbox. The Fed has a lot of tools in their toolbox. I was just going to say something kind of vile, but I will not do that. Um, the Fed has one tool and one tool only. That is how they are going to rig and or manipulate debt. That's it. Period. Now, um, what it's going to do, it, it is the Fed, or it more specifically the Fed chair, it has to maintain some kind of, uh, it's an illusion that they're in control, they know what they're doing, um, but it's absolutely not true. The markets are dictating to the Fed, not the other way around. Um, and let me just say this too, before I say anything else, and I've said this before, like probably years ago, Understand where we are in the grand scheme of things. We've never been here before. This is uncharted territory where no man, no woman has gone before. So the Federal Reserve is stuck using whatever tools that they want you to believe they have that do not exist in this environment. They're using tools that maybe used to work decades ago in an environment where we've never been before. So understand, they have no control, and all they can do is issue more debt in, in, and, and twist it around and just manipulate it. That's it. That's all every single world central bank can do. I laugh when I hear about the toolbox. The toolbox! <laughs> there is no freaking toolbox, people. You know that. Don't fall into the trap of the nonsense of the dog shit. It's the truth. They want you to believe that they're in some kind of, they are some kind of, you know, uh, organization that's above all of us. No, absolutely not. Yeah, they're in control. There is no doubt about that. They rig the markets around the world by manipulating debt. And now it is the stock market here in the United States that is dictating to the Federal Reserve, the, the central bank of all central banks. I mean, look at the market today. We're down triple digits right now. We already know the game. We know what's happening here. We got six banks here, the, the same ones that run the Fed, that are going to back stop the market. They're going to buy whatever they have to do to keep it propped up. I'm not saying that it's not possible to get a significant pullback, but that's all we're going to get right now, especially because this is an election cycle. We're going to get more lies, more propaganda, more look here, don't look here. That's just the way it's going to be. And I honestly cannot wait to hear what it is going to come out of its trap. Ba, 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 ba. Later, it's the truth. <laughs> I'm going to laugh. I'm going to sit here and laugh 
Uh, I'm going to be doing cartwheels and backflips around my room because I'm going to be laughing so hard. It's true. Um, the big kickoff, from what I understand, is uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Anyway, keep your eye on all this and watch how the bond market responds. You know, I know all of you by now have downloaded the CNBC app for your, uh, you know, one of these tracking devices. I don't even know what mine is right now. Um, so download that CNBC app, watch the bond market. If you want to watch this live, I mean, just so you can laugh at it for yourself, just go to my stinking website, TradersChoice.net. Right side of the page is the bond market chart there. It's not for me. It's for you. Look at it as they're talking. Watch and see how it reacts. See what happens to the stock market. Um... Anyway, as, as you all know, I closed my entire position yesterday on SPY, my calls. Uh, and, and, and look, no magic was involved here. Did I, I closed that position near the highs of the day. Uh, that wasn't because I'm any smarter than any of you. I, I just kind of got lucky there. That's the truth. Sometimes that happens. Um, and the, the stocks are down right now. But let's watch this market. Let's see where it goes. And you and I, there is no doubt on this earth or off this earth, that we're going to be on the right side of this when this all balances out. And again, if you're one of my lions or a wannabe lion or a lion cub, I love my lion cubs, um, follow me on Twitter. I will post my positions when I enter them and when I exit them. I, I, I told you, there's no way we're going to lose. I will not let you lose. Not happening. So anyway, uh, I can't wait for the end of the day either. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> I'll see you then.